I've been up all night, dude. I've been dealing with these clogs. It's it's clogging up. And I do not know why. Holy shit, dude! Let's pause. Future Caleb here. In my lovely new apartment. Obviously, past me is very clearly frustrated because he's making literally every mistake. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna review this. We're gonna figure out what exactly went wrong and how. Maybe, maybe even learn a lesson. Particularly how not to upgrade printers. All right, let's get started. Past Caleb starts off very strong. We're moving the hot end from the X carriage perfectly. However, once the hot end is removed, that's when the mistakes begin. Starting with this. What is he? What is he doing with his face? The second misstep here is feature creep. We we started with the nozzle. The whole point was just to upgrade to a hardened nozzle. What is happening right now? In fact, in fact, a nozzle isn't even hard to upgrade. I'll go upgrade one right now. Watch. Vlog mode activate. Literally the hardest part is having to film it. We must travel. Oh hey look, we're here. Step one, heat it up. As you can see, Mine is already heated. Step two, raise your z-axis for the height that's suitable for your tools. I'm literally artificially making it longer. That, it's so easy. Step three, use your tool. Oh wow, look at that, it's so easy. Step five, this is the old nozzle. New nozzle loaded. Let's screw that with it. Step six, profit. Or, I don't know, print for fun, whatever you do. Easy clap, dude, done. Look at that, what, what was that, 30 seconds? Done. So before I fast forward through all this disassembly, I want to point out that the fan duct that surrounds the hot end on the CR10 V2 contains nine screws. And it's actually two pieces that kind of like are bolted together over the hot end. So just show you where those screws are. They're one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. I think that adds up to nine. Don't Google it, trust me. Another note, once the fan is actually removed from the hot end here, exhibit A, be, sh be sure to just turn off the, the control box. Otherwise, it makes an unbearable noise. Here, listen. Holy shit, holy shit. See, that was terrible. Just, just turn off your control box. If you, for some reason, are running a setup similar to mine, when you have OctiPrint controlling two printers, turning off the control box still reduces the noise, but it doesn't completely stop the fan. So watch out where you end up placing that fan because the, the blades are the blades are spinning. Like, they're, they're still spinning and, and, it, and it could break. It very well could break, so. Not that that's happened to me. Oh, shit. Oh, not shit. that, that's, oh, shit. Not that oh, we did that. We, oh, we didn't do that, okay? We made a lot of mistakes doing this, but breaking the fan was not one of them. Oh god, oh shit. I'm fast forwarding a little bit. Thing is, I don't know if it'll like fit in here. There are no threads on the inside of this thing. Okay, now here he realizes that there are no threads in the heat sink. In the stock heat sink, there are no threads to like screw in a heat break. So that's, okay, you know, that's worth noting. Bought this Titan V6 clone off of Amazon. Oh, All hail Lord, Lord Bezos. Bezos. That's gonna suck. Like it's literally the exact same thing. Like, like it fits, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's E3D compatible. Oh, I could just do that, couldn't I? Very good. It looks like he's gonna make the right decision. That is awesome. Wait. Wait a minute. If he made the right decision, I I wouldn't exist right now. God damn it. Really? Come on. Come on, dude. Actually, I don't know if this is a good idea. I have no idea if this is a good idea. It is a bad it idea. Feels like a bad idea? Correct. So what is Listen to that feeling. I Why? Took this. Just a minute ago, you were thinking of and using the other hot end. The one that we got. it in there. From Amazon. With the, you know? Just use that. You know? What is happening? What is going on? It's kind of wobbly. Please. You know, screw no. this bad it's boy. It's still in. turn back. Listen to me. I imagine it's not gonna go well. You are hundred. This is a ridiculous correct. and insane idea. It will not like, go oh. well. So don't do it. Yes. For the love of Bezos, please, please don't please do, do any madman. Really insane business. shit. Don't do you're not a mad lad. You're a very sane lad. 
Very sane lad. He's a sane lad, I promise. So you can, like, screw this back in. Dude, he did it. Dude. Dude, can you believe he did it? I, I, I actually can't. It's actually not extruding. Like, at all. Huh. You don't say. I wonder what the problem could be. I think the worst part is that it takes them a little bit to actually figure out what happened. The filament gear doesn't push out. Interesting, my dude. Interesting indeed. Having an extremely poor experience with other filament right now. Come on. Come on. We know we know it's not an issue with the other filament, okay? We both know. You 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 and I. You and I both know. Not an issue with the other filament. We know what the issue is. Okay. Alright, this is this is painful. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip through this. This is this is too painful to watch. I can't do it. Filament, moment of truth, boys. I've seen this happen before. Oh my god! Oh! Whoa! 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 Look at that! We're in business. All metal, hot end, hardened nozzle. Years, years of trial and error, failure. But God damn it, we fucking did it, boys! All day, all day, winning, perseverance, low expectations, have won this day. All right, I mean, I know that this is an entirely avoidable mistake and uh, didn't need to happen at all, but now that we've come to the conclusion, I'm actually quite proud. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little happy this happened. In that, I'm happy he fixed it in three days other than four days or something. So here's what I'm thinking that happened. Here's the idea. Here's the hypothesis. I'll let him. I'll let him take it away. I'll this is an example of like a clog. That little. That little nubbin right there. Nub nub. No sand. Oh. Okay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna let him take it away. Okay. So here's the hypothesis. The hypothesis is that since there was an air gap between the heat break and the heat sink, hot air from the hot end or heating block rose into the chamber where the PTFE tube and the filament meet the heat break, either softening up or melting altogether the filament in there. Now, it only happened after a heat up and then a cool down because the heats up, melts, expands, cools down, and then the clog forms. I, I think that's a reasonable explanation. I think. I'm not a physicist. I don't know. Awesome. So, we're done. The upgrade is complete. And, and, we even printed one of these. We even printed a carbon fiber PLA. This is a piece of the secret project. But the lesson of all of this was... Perseverance. Low expectations. Have won this day.